Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson. I'm glad you're joining me tonight. I have talked about the fact that I have moved my stockpile and I changed things up. So tonight, guess what we're going to do? We're going to chat about it and then we're going to take a quick little tour of a small and simple, modest stockpile pantry. So why did I move my stockpile slash pantry? And is it really working for me? So let me start with the why I moved it. Those of you that have been following me many times, I have shown you the inside of my stockpile and pantry. I've always had some type, some sort of a stockpile, um, maybe not necessarily a shelving unit, or I've just had extra stuff. Always, you know, for many years, I've shared my story as to us going without food and, and what that did for me to wake me up to realize I need a stockpile. So, you know, right before the pandemic, I'd say in 2019, I, I really started pulling it together and realizing that I had stuff everywhere. And I had a lot of stuff, but not organized in enough of a way where I knew what I had. So I decided to pull it together and come up with one space that I could utilize and line everything up. Also during that time, I got back into canning. So I needed place to store my canned goods and all that. And thus I got my stockpile, the only hall closet, the only closet we have outside of a bedroom closet. I don't have a lot of storage in the house that we're in. It is a rental. So we work with what we have, not complaining, it is what it is. This is the life I have. So we use the hall closet and we've probably used it for about three years and it served us well. It was great. I've toured it. You can go back on my videos if you want to see what it looked like. But what was happening is a couple of things. One is I needed my closet. I had no place to put a vacuum cleaner, a broom, extra rolls of um, toilet paper or paper towels or uh, tablecloths, you know, those everyday things that like, I don't have another closet. So I needed a closet to put those things in. And it was really starting to get to my husband that these things were never quite have a home. I think I outgrew the closet, not in terms of the amount of food, but I outgrew the purpose of where it was, if that even makes sense. And um, it was time for a change. After three years, we as a family changed, we as a people changed, life has changed, what we do and, and all that. So many things have changed. The other thing was the closet was very long and narrow. So in order to get things, I sort of had to kind of reach back and I could not rotate the way I wanted. And you know what? I just outgrew it. It was time to move on to something else. I don't have another place in my house that's a wow moment. I said it one of, on one of the videos that when you open my pantry doors, I don't have pantry doors. I have a curtain on it. But when you open my pantry doors, the angels are not going to come out and sing. And I don't mean that as a critical thing for other people, but I watch some people that, you know, my stockpile, my pantry is a humble, simple, everyday, basic, cheapo pantry. There is no frills about it. So if you want to see an everyday practical, this is how somebody stores their stuff. You're going to see that. I tried to pretty it up a little bit, but I moved it to my kitchen. And why did I move it to the kitchen? Okay. Now, why did I move it out of the closet? I told you that. Why did I move it into the kitchen? Number one, I have no other place to put it, at least not right now that I can think of. I don't want it in my living room. I don't want it in the dining room. I'm looking around my house here. I don't want it in the bathroom, obviously. And for me, I don't want it in the bedrooms. Um, I know some people do that and I get that, but I don't want that. I'm extremely practical. Like I drive people crazy because I'm so practical. Um, if I don't see it and I can't reach for it, I probably will never use it. And it's a waste of my time and energy to even have it. And my mom, when I grew up with my mom, her counters were clean, pristine, 
empty. There was maybe a floral arrangement and one little knickknack, and that was it. No canisters, no appliances on the counter, absolutely nothing. Her mother, my grandmother, had everything out. Canisters, all the appliances. My grandmother worked full time, raised five kids on her own, single mother, and really didn't have time to be putting things away and making things pretty. She needed it practical. I think it was already in her anyway, so I think I have a little of my grandmother in me that I'm more practical. My mother's house is that beautiful home that you can go to and it always looks prettied up. My home is the one you come to. It's practical. The dishes are in the sink, the laundry's in the laundry basket, and there's stuff on the kitchen table. So I'm not going to paint a picture that I have the, that I have an awesome looking pantry. Just want to set the stage on that. So when I moved my pantry, what were some of the benefits? I'm going to tell you real quick some of the benefits, bring you over there just for a quick tour. It's nothing fancy. One of the benefits was I pulled every single item out in my pantry. It made me be accountable for everything I had. Not that I didn't know what I had, but sometimes when you pull things out, like you empty your bedroom closet and you pull all your clothes out and you're like, I knew I had a lot, but I didn't realize I had this much. It was that kind of a feeling. And my husband and I went through it together and it probably took us about three days to really go through it and to put it away and organize it. We gave away six, I can't show you on there, but you know, six big, big boxes, six boxes of food we gave away. I have people that are mad at me and have said so on the comments that I shouldn't be giving food away. I have other people that think I'm wonderful for giving food away. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm telling you what I do. I know what I need to do for me. And I felt like for me, I had too many things. Um, I knew I wouldn't use, there were some items that I had, like I'm just never going to use rid of that stuff, made room for what I will use and I do use. So going through that, now I have a planner, you know, I mentioned this many times. I'm a planner girl. I actually purchased a new one, a nice thin one. I'm going to try something new. And I have a house section that I keep in here. And in there is my little list. And what is this? This is my master shopping list. So I keep a copy in here. Let me take it out. And a few of you have asked me, oh, can I get a copy of that, that you're new to this? So I told you when I do it, I will let you know. And I think I posted it. Yeah, I did. I posted it on the community page that I have done a master list. It is on my blog. So if you want to go over to my blog, which is www.resumeofamother.com, you can actually get a printable of the list. I've adapted it so that it didn't say Lynn's hairspray or Graham's deodorant, you know, that kind of thing. I took our names off and made it more generic. But I have a list. You can see it very simple here. It's probably coming up backwards on the screen. Sorry about that. But if you want a printable, you can get it. It has everything from health and wellness to dairy to cleaning products to frozen to home to breakfast to produce to meats to miscellaneous canned and box goods, spices and baking. I don't know. It's got stuff. But one of the good things that me moving it into the kitchen was I can see it. It's more easily accessible. Is it in the perfect spot? No. Is it the perfect pantry? No. Is it on the shelf that I love? Not, not yet. We're getting there. But I was able to update my list and then I was able to make a list on here of all the things I do not need to buy. I do not need to buy toothpaste probably for three years. So I'm good. I do not need to buy spaghetti sauce. I like six jars and I had 14 jars. So I'm good right now. And I can only fit so much. I do not need to buy pasta probably for at least a year, if not longer. I do not need to buy oatmeal probably for the next three years. I always joke, I've talked about this. I do not need canned green beans. I do not need green beans. I'm good. Someone had canned vegetables the other day and they said, oh, I have extra canned vegetables. Can you use some? And the first thing I said is, I hope they're not green beans. She says, they're green beans and peas. I said, I'll take the peas, but I don't need the green beans. I do not need to buy canned chicken. I know Jan from New York City has mentioned that canned chicken has gone up in price. 
I don't use canned chicken that often. I very rarely use it. I use it sometimes for soups, maybe a quick stew, chicken pot pie kind of thing. So because I don't use it too often, I have more than enough right now. Like I know, I, I, you, I think you need to know when you have enough. I don't need to purchase table salt. I have plenty of that. Himalayan pink salt, I like to use that for uh, seasoning. You know, when I cook, things like that, I don't need that. I do not need canned tomatoes. I'm fine for that. Pancake mix. I do not need pancake mix. I am plenty on, I have plenty of that. Pancake syrup. I do not need canned soup. I have some. I have plenty. I don't need any more. I do more homemade soup than I do canned soup. Plenty of that. And canned beans. We don't use beans a lot. My husband's not into beans. I like them on the occasion. I love baked beans. So we'll have that with tonight's dinner was hot dogs, egg noodles, corn, homemade potato salad, and baked beans. It was just a, let's have a BBQ tonight. So we did that and uh, we had a nice barbecue, sort of indoor barbecue. It was a nice meal, but that's about the beans that we'll use. I got a large can and that will do us for about five meals. So the rest I'm gonna freeze in little sandwich bags, freeze them flat, we're good to go. So I then can take my new updated master shopping list and go and see what I have in my full pantry, stockpile, and so on. I'm gonna bring you over there, like I said, I'm gonna quickly show you what I have, um, give you an idea of what it looks like and that's all I got for you. So come on over, come on my kitchen. Let's go have a look. So here we are. So this is the curtain. I'll show you the whole curtain here. This is what I got. I, I like it. It's very busy. So that's it, it. And it's bold, but I thought it was cute. The plates, the cups, the teapot. This is actually, and I have it on just a little rod here. But this actually was for a, kind of like if you would have put a curtain between maybe a dining room, especially if you're in an apartment and a kitchen and you wanted to just have a little privacy. So it actually opens up here. So I thought that was nice. So what I have is this is a metal cabinet. It's a foldable um, cabinet, it's metal. And that's what I'm using for my pantry. So at the very top, I put some of my pots here because I didn't know where to put them. Up here I have my milks, my shelf stable milks, and in here we have ramen. These are the baskets, if you saw my haul, I like them because they were kind of woven looking. Um, I got grabbed those. So here we go. You ready for the angels to sing? Yeah, look at that. All right, so I took the curtain off and like I said, there's the top. This is what's behind door number one. This is what's behind the curtain. So all I did is I just, I didn't even take any decorations off the wall right now. They're all as is, cause I wasn't sure if I was leaving this here, but this is it. Like I said, this is nothing fancy schmancy. Okay. I'm just showing you here it is. So I had one of these racks from Aldi that you can put your canned goods on over here. Let me come down a little bit lower. You can see here I have canned chicken and hash. It's gotten a little jumbled up way back. There is meat. And I've got stuff stashed behind this all the way in the back. In these containers, I have rice. This one, I don't even know. Oh, that's beans. And this one is some cereals that I'm not using. I've got salts here, oatmeal, rice, more salt here. Soups are here and Chef Boyardee things. I've got condiments back there. I'm so sorry, it's so dark, but I'm not gonna pull everything out jarred tomato sauce and the other bin there is canned uh, tomatoes and then I had this this used to be a shelf one of these skinny shelves you put between your refrigerator and a cabinet it never worked it was always tipsy but we kept the shelves so I have here canned beans here I have canned soup more canned soup and then up here I have canned fruit and they fit in there and I've just rolled them in there as you can see then I have pumpkin and cranberry sauce and some other oddball things there. I have more condiments, mayonnaise, and oh, all kinds of stuff like that. Pizza sauce and applesauce, and I've got more goodies back there. That's the um, 
beef, what do you call that? Beef and chicken stock. And I've got in here this wicker basket. I've got extra spices and things like that. So that's there. And this one is like rices and crackers and more side dishes. I've got um, instant rice and scalloped potatoes and things like that in this bin. And so that's it. That's what I have. This here has been vacuum sealed. And but I was saying I might go to the vacuum bags because they take up a whole lot less room. So that's all I've got for you guys. Like I said, it is nothing fancy schmancy. It is plain and simple. I put them in the bins to organize it. And I've downsized quite a bit from what I had. But if you look at this, we're a family of three. You take all of this, plus the turntable of food, plus my home canned items, which I haven't shown you. I have that. I have another cabinet with breakfast items and baking items and things like that. I have a refrigerator full and two small freezers, one small, very small chest freezer, and then the refrigerator freezer, as I call it, full. We're fine. We, we are not in need. And I know many of you think I'm crazy, but God has provided for me, will continue to provide for me, and we are doing well. So I will be bringing you along on this journey of reorganizing my stockpile. This is completely organized for my brain. I can, if you ask me to get something, I'd know where to find it and I know exactly why and where I put it the way I did. And the curtain, as you can see, I don't want all this showing. You can only organize it to a point. Sorry if you hear the ice machine behind me gurgling, it's getting ready to make ice. But I put the curtain on here so that when you come in my kitchen, you don't need to see how many cans of tomato soup I have and so on. So there you go. And there goes the ice machine. So I hope you enjoyed this brief little look. Don't forget to check out my website if you would like a printable of a master shopping list. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I am getting so, so, so close to 6,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I know I am behind on comments. Life has been super duper busy for me, but I will get to those in the next day or two. Thanks so much. And don't forget, I'll see you all on the next video.